The other day, I randomly opened up to page 26 of my man, Victor Frankl's Logotherapy. I didn't feel like staying in the flat filming, and um, he was an avid outdoors person. So I figured this is the best place to talk about philosophy and religion. He has it in three pillars again, uh, divided into responsibility, belief, and self-transcendence. Under responsibility, he says, being in the world is a form of being that always decides what it is. What? Being in the world, this is in quotes, this is not, is a form of being that always decides what it is. And his direct quote is, the meaning of life encompasses even the meaning of suffering itself and death. We do not only have the responsibility to make our lives meaning through, through creative acts, experiencing nature and culture, or through experiencing love, not only through doing something that uh, something and loving someone can we share, shape our lives in a meaningful way, but also through suffering, by the way we confront our fate and bear our suffering. Our lives meaningful through creative acts, experiencing nature and culture, or through doing something and or through experiencing love. Not only through doing something and loving someone can we shape our lives in a meaningful way, but also through suffering, by the way we confront our fate and bear our suffering. We do it every day. We live through suffering and we go on. It actually makes us who we are. It's better off to have some degree of conflict or suffering. Why is it that women have their third and fourth child and they're like, what the, what was I thinking? The first trimester, throwing up their guts or ankle swelling up and back pain and all the things that women go through for nine months to have us, to have kids. But if they didn't endure that suffering, almost revel in that suffering, we wouldn't be here. There would be no existence if people just gave up and just like, I'm done with this, I'm <laughs> four months in, I'm done. I guess that's kind of a sore subject now in the United States because we're going backwards a hundred years at a time. I think this is one reason why I'm a anti-bucket list or that term at least. I mean, I know the movies about a guy who's about to die and he, has a rich white friend who says, hey, I haven't been to the Taj Mahal or whatever. And anyway, um, I get the gist of bucket list. Um, and like this book says, we create memories or we have creative lives. We d I don't do stuff just to create the memory. I do this because it's part of who I am. It makes me complete. It It is without it I would be dead without it I would I'd be really really I don't know where I'd be without camping trips from since I was 10 years old with the Boy Scouts getting out with nature and uh, enjoying so no matter how bad my back hurts or no matter how bad my knees or my ankles or whatever I mean I was laying on my back this morning stretching out for about a half hour just so I could be up here now um, without any any problems I'm going to keep doing it because the pain is worth it. That's really all I need to say. The pain is worth this. 